<laughs> Hello, welcome to a lover review, but this time we've got another Sonic figure, but this is from a different make. And it's Jerks Pacific. And this is E123 Omega, as you can tell by the picture on the box. Unfortunately I didn't open it raw because I wanted to get into it earlier. I found it in my I was while I was in town this morning, shall I say, and guess what I came up across? Apart from the Allosaurus, apart from the Allosaurus. Hello. I came across this, the figure I was looking for for weeks. <laughs> Here's your Blue Tag product shots already. It's got, it has 13 points of articulation. If you want to read the top, you can do. I'll read it to you anyway. The last and most powerful E series robots created by Dr. Eggman himself. So he's the last remain. Of, oh my god! I think I gave the surprise away. Yeah, he's the last of the E-Series robots. He made his first debut in Sonic Heroes in 2003. He made his de debut in Sonic Heroes as a member of Team Dark. And playable for Sonic 06 as well. The game which I don't want to talk about. The soundtrack was awesome, but the game was rubbish. Now here's the back of the box, and here's the other series in the figures. Wave 7, apparently. There's silver as well. There's Sonic with the accessory, and there is Tails with a checkpoint. He can get Eggman with a checkpoint, but further ado, here's the figure. Here's the figure. Here's the figure. Right, let me show you the accessory is you get a yellow chaos in rod. It's a bit larger, but oh god. Yeah, it's a bit too big for the sort of too big for the character. I prefer the Jazzware versions, they're a lot smaller. It's not worry about that right now. Let's throw the chaos in the way. I don't need the end rod. And plus, it would be too big for Eggman's hand. Right. On to Omega then. The first release, the first to ever release of E123 Omega. Yeah, he's got, he's got, he's got, he can move his arm up like that. One of his articulations. He's got a swivel in his forearm. He's got an elbow joint. And also, he's got swivel in his hands, like in his Sonic Heroes counterparts in the game. Now, does that look like the true Omega? Yep, it does. It's got. It's correct. It's got the Omega symbol on that side of the arm, and one side on the other side on the back. He's got his thrusters. It's got the bit of green on the front. Excellent. It's got his battle belt out and also got the three bits of articulation in the legs swivel on the top leg move it and of course it's got knee to knee joint knee movements I'll just do this there you go and he's got articulation in his feet there you go if you're a true sonic fan if you're a true sonic fan or a mega fans this figure's for you mate for comparison let me do the dinosaurs first. Here is, let me just move Omega to the left. Here is the Allosaurus version two. Stay tuned, I will be doing a review on that soon. I won't speak too much about the features because I've already spoken about it in the Chaos and Limbo review. There, that was the Allosaurus. That's, that was another thing I bought as well today. Here's Chaos, here's Chaos. Is anybody, is there, I've got a question, please put in the comments, who's excited for the Baryotic skins from Can Cretaceous in Involution 2? Available out on March 8th. Here's Chaos. Uh, there's a Cyberman, this is characters figures, Doctor Who figure. Characters figures. Character figure. That's five inch, that's about four inches. So here's a character, characters, and a Cyberman. Who would another question below? Who would win against these two? Who would again? Who would win against these two? Omega or the Cyberman? Comments, please name the character and your reasons, please, in the comments. <laughs> another character figure. A Paradigm Supreme, the Asylum version. 
and a mega. He's, the Dalek over tower was a mega. I can give you a second to put the car then. Put the Dalek back over there where it belongs. I can't be bothered to get a Power Rangers Lightning Collection figure, but this is one of Hasbro's figures. So this is one of Hasbro's figures. The B1 Battle Droid. A Mega and the Battle Droid. A Mega and the Battle Droid. I do apologise about all the moving about. My tripod doesn't want to stay in place. I apologise because my tripod won't stay in place. <laughs> my apologies. <laughs> My tripod. Oh, balls. Then mine are finished with the battle dread anyway. Now, now from Figma, Mackie Nashusha, where you pronounce her last name. There she is. Normally it would be Sakura doing this today, but Naki is stealing the show today. She's stealing the show. <laughs> There's your Figma figure. Now, Jazzware Sonic figures. There's Shadow. There's Shadow the Hedgehog, a member of Team Dark. <laughs> Do you think that's the right scale? I think it's all right to be. There's one rule for having taller power formation characters. They've got to be bigger. Um, a, Omega's got to be bigger than Shadow. And similar size to Vector. And smaller than Big. But I think that works all right. What, I'll have your guys, I'll have you, I'll have my audience to say about this. I'll keep you out because I need you for the end of the video. From the same company, here's Metal Sonic. Another one of Eggman's successful creations. It's Metal Sonic. If you want me to do a review of Metal Sonic, please let me know. I've got to find his, I've got to find his accessory. And the last of all... His creator, Dr. Eggman. His former creator and enemy. <laughs> if you're a, if you're a mega fan, this this is awesome for you. But now I'm going to place now for the now I'm going to place Metal Sonic next to Eggman and Shadow. The only reason Shadow's here because he was created by his grandfather. There we go, that looks like a good photo shoot of all the of the gang. It's a good photo shoot of the gang. All we need is Rouge. I'm a little bit worried that Rouge is gonna be taller than Shadow. She needs to be the same size as Shadow. That's all I'm worried about when Rouge comes out. Cause Rouge is another character I need. <laughs> And I'm a little bit worried she's going to be taller than Shadow. She needs to be the same size as the Jazzware Shadow, but slightly smaller than a Mega. <laughs> there we are. There's all of Eggman's lovely creations. Apart from Shadow, he was, he was created by Professor Gerald. But Eggman and Mega and Metal Sonic <laughs> are the main attractions here. If you're a big Sonic fan like me, this figure is perfect for you. If you have Gamma, oh, that's a rare one to find. If you have Gamma, awesome. Yes, if you like Omega, please, please, I recommend buying it. Unless you're just a Team Dark fan, I see one of the third popular team. Popular team is Team Dark. Second being Team Chaotix and Team Sonic being number one. So anyway, if you like this review, stay tuned. Stay tuned for the Allosaurus review. Yeah, stay tuned for the Allosaurus review I'm going to do. Please stay tuned for that. Hello. He's just waving into the camera. He's just waving into the camera. <laughs> yes, if you like this, I recommend it. I recommend it if you're a true Sonic fan, unless you want to build up teams. Unless you want to build up teams. So I've got near enough three completed teams almost in figures. Just need Rouge to complete Team Dark. As I say, I'll see you cuties later in another video. Stay safe, get vaccinated, get the booster if you haven't. I'll see you cuties later. 
Ta-ta.